Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's going on? We have a deck that was uh, submitted by Super Fritz today. Old Super Fritzarino. Old Fritzy boy. Old Fritzaruski. Got four Hero Precinct 1, four Cruel Celebrant, four Dreadhorde Butcher. This dude's interesting. Four Fireblade Artist, two Angrass Rampage. This deck looks spicy. Three Judith, two Mortify, and four Bedevil. Two Tases for those... Uh, <clears throat> for those leaves the battlefield triggers and also for those uh spicy moments where you want to say how do, how do you like the taste of that uh moments like that and then we have two soren and three heroic reinforcements and three angraths and then we got a bunch of dirtle lands you guys know how lands work deck list will be in the description as it always is got two duress two moment of craving two elder spell one kaya two conclave tribunal two Veraska's contempt two kaya's wrath and two immortal sun i had to craft an immortal sun and a third Angrath for this deck. And I didn't feel great about it because those cards, I'm probably not going to use three Angraths, but that's how committed I am. So we're going to play this bad boy and see what we see what we can do. Uh, I guess we're going ranked, right? Traditional constructed? That's right, isn't it? Isn't that what we want? So what if I click this? Then what happens? Traditional ranked, right? That's what we're looking for. Okay, we did it. <coughs> Angrath is good. I just don't think there's many decks that are going to need three. Uh, yeah, this hand's great. Ooh, made, it, made it even a little better. All right, we're going to play this. Tappied? Then we're gonna go summit into Blade Artist. Rocket 69, rocket 69. Oh no, not a gross spiral. Man, it has been a while since I played Arena. But <clears throat> here we are. Oh, my, your favorite and mine. Can I can I make them sack an enchantment? No. Okay. Submit zero. What's the difference between submit zero and decline? I guess you, I guess you can only hit decline. Well, I was hoping for a turn three play, but alas, we asked for too much. We flew too close to the sun. What are they going to choose, you think? Decline. Hmm. So we can play a Soren or Heroic Reinforcements. Heroic Reinforcements could kill this if they don't have a Duder. We don't want to play Cruel Celebrant here. Heroic reinforcements could be the ticket. They might just pop this to kill the Fireblade artist. Rocket 69, Rocket 69. Thank you. What just happened? What? What just happened? It's a good one. I never that was never that's never been relevant. Your aggression that's is never been relevant in all the times I've had that card played against me. I've never had to read her static ability. 
Oh god, it's so random. Why does that have to do with Tamiyo? That's such a random ability to put on this Tamiyo. She collects tails and won't- I guess so. Steven, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. One more month until I have to come up with something a really witty- a really witty sub message. Yeah. You got time, though. You got time. Okay. Yep. And this is where I concede because I would rather actually have my fucking brains blown out than play against this deck. <clears throat> but, you know. What can you do? Um... Take out the Angrath's Rampage. Bring in Duress. I do like a Vraska's Contempt. It's probably better than Soren. I do like Kaya here, actually. Also, Elder Spell is good, too. What are we cutting for these cards, though? Probably cut one Angrath. Mortify scene. Well, Mortify deals with enchantments, though. We could cut the Angress and bring in Immortal Sun. We did bring in Kaya, though. Maybe we just bring in one Elder Spell. It seems fine. Blowing my brains out in the first round. Do 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 do. Having some fun. We'll play first. Yeah, we'll keep this. This guy got haste. Boy, does he. Uh, let's go Sacred Foundry. are my profits. Pack your bags and hit the road. Got him. Did you get him? I don't know. It's hard to say. Bravo. Uh, it's 3-2 drops to run into, run into Blast Zone, but also we get a 1-1 one, one out of it, which I'd rather have, and we also get uh, this deals 4, so they go to 8. And then we can follow up with Heroic Reinforcements, which is 6, or an Angrath. So, I mean, if they want to waste their turn Blast Zoning, that's fine.
Oh, the newer Fallout games are great. Wait, what happened? Oh, cuz they cuz they blast zoned. Yeah, that's pretty good. Get rid of root snare and chemical site. What's up, Kanji Khan? Usually, I'm better at dodging. This bad boy. I'll go tap it in response. <laughs> okay. Go to combat. Price. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eh, I'll attack Nissa. Fight on without me. Back Nissa and you want good for you. Shuffling me off my mortal coil. So long, Forest. Oh, damn you. Story is an opportunity for new data. I think you will find my note I wonder what you name. Fire, no steel. Remember the song Brick House? I do. That was a good time. It's on Brick House. I'm playing the least fun deck in standard. So I don't feel bad about crushing you. I think this other elder spell is probably better than Spadevil. It's definitely better than Bedevil, right? Because it's just an easier to cast Bedevil. Like, we're only going to target. Uh, planeswalkers with this anyway, so. Do you remember the song Stucco House? I don't think so. I think it was less popular. What about Log Haven House? <laughs> that's a, I think that's one of the better ones. Log Haven Cow Log Haven Log Haven Cows. That's good. 
That's just a Danish name. Uh, they call me Log Habenkaus. From the I'm from the Netherlands. I will. I don't love this hand, but. See, you say you have used to have a brick outhouse, but I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> Log cabin house. Oh lord. Oh god, you guys are wonderful. Just wonderful. And this is how memes are born, ladies and gentlemen. These are how memes are born. I like the I like the variety of houses that we have today. This is a we got a what's this what's the what's the channel that has the I forgot the is it like just Home and Garden TV the Home and Garden channel is that just what it's called? Oh, another four drop, huh? HGTV HGTV that's what we're talking about. There we go, nailed it. Never didn't know it. Well, if they have any planeswalkers, we're in good shape, guys. Well, that's obnoxious. Can you counter this? Doubt it. Is this the deck you're using for the untapped event? No. So this is like the first round I've played with this with this deck. Sure, you got it. Congratulations. Wow, double wilderness reclamation. That's a card. Look at all the lands I'm tapping. I'm adding six mana to my mana pool. To the surprise of no this is the most obnoxious part where they're like it's revealed you'd like would you like to see it no dude i understand i i, I understand that it's, it's been played it's so obnoxious the land shall conquer you. come at me bro Who's having a good time? You guys, uh, you guys having a good time? You guys come here often? I am hmm. I know I noticed you somewhere. Dan's, you're wonderful. <laughs> Rise, my elemental friend. Oh my God! Stop! Just stop! Why are you like this? Seek and find. I guess I'll block one of these dudes. So we have five mana. We can Vraska's Contempt and that's pretty much it. I'm pretty okay with killing both of these. with my work see you later ladies um guess we'll just play this guy are we just gonna die to 
to mono forests here. Oh my god, the black red, the the blue red counterburn stream where I was like, oh, I just queued up the wrong deck. Good times. That was due to the new interface. Like, the new interface uh, doesn't really ask you to select a deck. It just puts one in there. I guess it puts the most recent one you're working on. And then you can obviously change that, but... My kingdom for a Maelstrom Pulse. I guess Maelstrom Pulse is non non bland, so... Wouldn't really even matter. Yep, and we're done. Don't care. Just I'd rather just concede. If you're going to play with Nexus against me, I'd rather just concede. It's just not even worth my time. I don't have any changes to recommend thus far because was not a... Uh... I mean, it's almost at a point where, like, when you're playing a standard deck where people are conceding against you because it's not fun to play against you or your deck, like, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it's a great quality. Is that the word we're looking for? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Franconic Disciple, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, I played it in... I played it against FNM. I was at a five... Literally a five-person FNM. Because they're, like no one showed up, it was the modern Modern Horizons pre-release. Uh, it was right before that, so I assume everyone was like busy doing that, or like saving their money for that. And so I was at the F and M. It was like five people, and um, one of the five people had Nexus, and I just sat there, and we just had to play. Like our, our match took an extremely long time, and uh, there was really no real reason for it. I just I just got to watch them play Magic, and I was just like. Hope you're having a good time. The problem is the deck is decent. Like the, the like the deck is competitive. It's 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 high it's of a high tier. So it's like what kind of house do you think they had? Oh lord. Okay, that's the question, isn't it? This guy's so dead, right? There's no way this guy survives. Will he survive? Well, I'll be. Uh, I think we're just bedeviling this guy and then just attacking. I'm not sold on Angrath's Rampage yet. I, th I know the card is good. I know it's, I know it does its job. I hate, just hate that it's a sorcery. But in situations like this, where I can easily get rid of this guy, it's fine. Yep, that's nice. Yeah, this should be game. Heroic Reinforcements next turn or Angrath are both very, very good. Unless they sweep the board here. That ain't gonna do it. Nope, that guy neither.
I think we got him. How'd the ninja ninja deck end up doing? Quite well. I think we went like 4-1 or 3-1 or something. The deck was really sweet. And I actually picked up a bunch of the cards in paper, so... Um... I kind of like Vraska's Contempt here. I think the Tasas might be too cute. I don't know. I don't know if you're, um... Super, super married to these Tasas. Because there's only, like, two real creatures that take advantage of her. I guess Judith, too. But, like, I mean... If you have Tasa on board... I think, like, the most you can expect is maybe, like, three-ish triggers out of her ability, right? I guess she does give creature tokens vigilance and life. Like, I just, I think the two for, by herself on an empty board, she's just not as impressive. I'd almost rather have, like, Seraph of the Scales. Because I think Seraph is just a better card by herself. You know what I mean? Um, let's bring in Kaya again, because they have Graveyard Nonsense. Take out one Angrath. I'll take out the tastes here, and I'll also bring in probably Vraska's Contempt. We just want to be able to get rid of uh, their dudes. Oh yeah, I had a uh, yeah. There was like eight ninjas in play at one time, which is pretty sweet. Which is a which is a funny thing to say when you're talking about Magic the Gathering. I had eight ninjas in play, and I was in my log cabin house. This is uh this is the most non magic magic stream there is. I don't think this is a keeper. Oh, this is worse. Oh, this is fine, I guess, but we need a land. I thought the London Mulligan was implemented, is it not? Is it just not anywhere? Yep, that's that's no bueno. Thank you. Oh, little Scoochie, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Yep. Oh, Magic the Gathering. It's always a pleasure. And next game. Good times. How many lands are in this deck? Just out of curiosity. Helpful hint, the deck does not work well if you don't draw lands. That's a good strategy. 23. So uh, enough to, to have drawn two lands, let's say. Play first. I'll keep it, but I don't like having not having red. So, are you gonna be playing limited? We'll probably get to a, a Modern Horizons draft at some point. I like Dreadhorde Butcher a lot. Otherwise known as Lil Butchy. Lead off with Memorial. Well, unfortunate. I don't like the Memorial here. I, I'm not sure we're ever going to actually have an, a chance to activate it. But, maybe that's just me. We'll see. Lil Butchie is Frank's SoundCloud rap name. 
That's that's not public information, buddy. I like that you stuck that one in there. Is that because I have my, my roots in the technological era? Well. I also thought this was a 2-2. Two -two. I like drafts because they're always different. And with Constructed, I have to like find a deck... I don't know if it's any good, you know, and then I get to play against things like Nexus, whereas like limited, it's always different. I'm always going to be playing a different deck. I'm always going to be playing against different decks. I'm always going to be, sometimes I'll open sweet rares, you know, it's like there's a lot of variety in limited and there's not as much preparation uh, as there is for like constructed formats. Okay, cruel celebrant dot deck over here, but they're not doing much either, so So if they kill all three of these, what do they take nine? That's a lot. Let me see if I can I'll check something over here. I'll bring it back, don't go anywhere. Oh, another little bird. It's not in here. Okay. Well... Still no red mana. I guess we'll get in there with all these guys again. I assume they're going to Chemister's Insight here. So they kill them all at one time, they take three, four, five, six instead. Mm -hmm. What's going on, Cyborg Huey? boy this is ridiculous Solid experience so far. Solid experience so far. One, two, three.
This is where they go, uh, shock one, block another. Nope. If I had a way to kill all three of these at the same time, they'd be dead. That's what you gotta remember. I'm just finding it hard to believe that what I don't know what they have in their hand if like they have no instants or sorceries in their graveyard. I believe Thorn Elemental was in Urza's legacy or Urza's destiny. Let me know if I'm correct. I want to say Destiny. That's my final answer. This is really weird. I've drawn more Judiths than lands, almost. I've drawn more Judiths than red sources, that's for sure. This is unbelievable. 15 cards, 3 lands. the odds they have a counter spell if this is a red land that'd be great could steal this guy we could actually soar and put judith into play they block two they take two but only one of these dies so uh, I don't know if we actually do automatically win. Like, they could just block two guys, right? This guy wouldn't, one of them wouldn't die. They would take two, and then two when this dies. It, or one when it dies. No, Judith. Maybe that's... Mm. Oh, it comes into play tapped, actually. So... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Magic the Gathering. Well, get you to one. Seems good. Can they accidentally hit themselves, you think? Wow. I, 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 I don't even know what to say. Oh, one life. Off of three lands. Isolated chapel. What can you do? My problem with a card like Taste is that you don't actually have that many ways to sacrifice your own creatures, right? Like, I mean, you have, like, you're just hoping they die naturally. Thank you. Linner, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. 20 months. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Thank you. How many red sources do we have? We only have eight red sources. 12 red sources? It's a little rough. Because we have four, eight, 12, 13 white sources. And then four, eight, 12, 16 black sources. But we have eight cards we want to play on turn one that are red, and we only have eight, 12 red sources. It seems a little low. I think we're just taking Memorial out and adding a mountain.
Four sacred, four blood curve, four godless. That's good. Four isolated, four dragon skull. Let's take the tases out for now and put in Seraph. I don't think you need three Angrath. Like you're just not you're just not gonna get to five mana that frequently, and when you do, like you don't want to have multiple Angrath in your hand. Which makes me wish I didn't craft this guy, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, one more card. I like I like these. I think heroic reinforcements is one of the strongest cards in the deck. Yeah, we'll just add another heroic reinforcements. Sideboard seems good. I don't know the matchup you're gonna want Kaya's Wrath for. I think I'd rather just have more duresses. I was looking at the wrong folder, guys. Okay, I found it. Oh, man, one land again, huh? Uh, all right, we'll keep this land and blood celebrant. Oh, what cruel celebrant? Wow. Why is it? All right, that was weird. Let's go Sacred Foundry. Better than the cruel celebrant here. I feel like we're that far behind. See, there we go. Now we're talking. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, we can't kill your your hostage taker here. Actually seems pretty good for your deck. You probably shouldn't have access to that. This deck really has a uh, not enough lands or too many lands issues. Uh,
Yeah, see, in a situation like this, like, Angrath's, Angrath's Rampage just doesn't do anything. You're just like, well, you got a million dudes. Four three, huh? Alright, that seems not bad. Well, that's overkill. Another day, Kerr. All right, let's go to the next game. Yeah, like we have two Angress Rampage, four Bedevil, and two Mortifies in the deck. That's ten removal spells. Eight removal spells that we could have found in that game. And we did not. I think our main deck is actually fine. Got things to do. I do like Dread Horde Butcher a lot. Hero one, hero pre saint one, and on a lot as well. Uh, I guess no attacks. I actually should have Angrath there, I think. But maybe they don't play an explore guy.
fascinating. Of course, now we don't have third land, but... I mean, that was pretty good. We traded one uh, Dreadhorde Witcher for Vraska and Thrashing Brontodon. Well, that's pretty good. Is it a counterspell? I'd be surprised. This is, another, I'm, this is another reason why I'm not a big fan of Cruel Celebrant. Just because, like, if you should, you could be able to actually count the number of creatures in your deck that are dying uh, in, in a game. And then see if Cruel Celebrant would have that big of an effect, you know? And the answer is usually no. Like, I think we've dealt, like, five damage in total with Cruel Celebrant at the cost of playing a 1 2 for 2. Is this Modern Horizon? No. Am I sure? No. Could be. If they block a token here, they take one, two, three, they take six, and they're dead on board. Sure. I mean, they have to gain life here, which is possible because they have Wild Growth Walker, but. Or they just do that. Honey's Joker, thank you so much, buddy. Welcome back. Eight months in a row. That's a good amount of time. Well, eight months. Okay. Yes, here we go. Now we've reached the uh, draw lands portion of the, of the deck. Also at eleven. Which is not super hard. Lava axe off the top one time. I don't think there's anything we can actually draw here that gets the side of this. Like they have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, actually this is a five. So twelve damage on board. Fifteen damage on board. Sixteen damage on board. That guy'll do it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, okay, you got it. Okay, so we are like 0-3 with the deck right now. 0-2? It's not looking good. Cruel Celebrate. Like, you want you want cards that have high impact. Like, if they're playing cards like Nissa and 
uh, Hydroid Crassus and Hostage Taker. You don't want to play cards like Cruel Celebrant. That's just basically how it goes. This card is not impressive on its own. If you top deck this and they top deck a Hydroid Crassus, you are so far outclassed. This deck has been against tier three decks. Oh wow. Looks like uh we got a comedian in our midst here. Alright, so Let's look up two drops. If you think Louis, what does that even mean? <laughs> These aren't landing very well, my dude. These aren't landing. Okay, now it's just getting weird. Uh, I wonder if Dreadhorde Invasion is any good in a deck like this. with two push three launch me nurse judith bontu actually could be the, the missing piece bontu could be great actually what does bontu like sack a bunch of dudes and you draw the many cards am i misremembering what bontu does One of Torgar. What's the second half of this guy do? Destroy a non-basic land. It's pretty good. Nope. Don't try to sneak in there, you fresh face recruit. Because fire says you're cruising your first second vigilance after this and your combat phase. Um, I'm reluctant for five mana though. Take my money. All right, forgive me for my computer literacy. What is the difference in the sub tiers? What's the difference in the nine 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 and the twenty four dollars subscription? I just found out how to do the gift subs, and I will just do it off myself. Uh, I don't. I don't think there's any. There's that much difference between the sub tiers. Uh, there can be. Like, I could make like specific emotes for them and stuff, but um, I I never really did. So I just don't know if there's that much value in the nine 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 and the twenty four nine nine for people. But if they want to support the channel and and like subscribe with that tier, far be it for me to stop them. But, um, ba -ba -ba -bon too. all right, so we're actually going to take this filter off. And here's the first person to draw the many cards. When it dies, or put it next time, you put it, yeah. That's actually, I think one Bontu is actually pretty good here. But now we want, is it good enough for Cruel Celebrant, though? I think four Bedevils might be too much. I can think we can go down to three. don't like Angrass Rampage that much. I just don't. Aren't there better, aren't there like one drops that we can play? Why don't we have Mayhem Devils in here? That's actually, I thought that, I thought that was already in here actually. 
problem is we don't have ways to sacrifice things, though. We're not sacrificing things. I guess Fireblade Artist, but like then he just adds a... Why don't we have Spawn of Mayhem in here? That guy seems like he's just boss. I would rather have Mortifies in the sideboard. Can I do that? No? Okay. Well, that seems like an advanced feature that... I guess I'll have to switch the view to do that. All right, so we put these guys over here. Uh, can we do we need all of these? Like we have Elder Spells, Baraska's Contempt, and Conclave Tribunal, which are all kind of doing the same thing. I, I kind of want to try Spawn of Mayhem. Well, add some sack outlets. Well, I don't know if how, how good are the sack outlets in standard right now. I don't I don't like Lillian here because like we have twenty three lands, so the odds of us hitting six mana is pretty low. I don't see I don't see why we don't have four of this guy. I don't even know I don't know if I love Soren. Yeah, yeah Soren's always good actually. I don't mind Soren. Oh, we're gonna take the Angrass Rampage out. Yeah, that seems good. Let's try it like this. Wait. Fifteen and sixty. Yeah, why? Yeah, save an exit. Honey's Joker with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. Look at that. Four lands. Got a three drop, three drop, four drop. I'm game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, like, sometimes I watch Rooster and Judge Judith and I'm like, it, like, this is the kind of stuff that people say when they think they're being funny, but they're actually not. It's just not funny. Like, I mean, no offense, man, but, like, you're you're being that guy that, like, thinks he's the funny guy in their group, but, like, everyone's, like, they just groan when you make your jokes because it's just not funny. Like, there's nothing funny. There's no punchline. There's no joke. It's just a weird thing to say for the sake of being weird, but it's so obviously for the sake of being weird that it loses all impact. So it's just, I don't know. You do you, I guess, but... I'll oh, see, and then, then you get the, and then they double down, and they're like, it's not a joke, it's true. And you're like, okay, all right, I guess. But, like, I mean, you could see why with, like, the, uh, the other messages that you've sent, why people would think it was an attempt at a joke. Whether it's true or not, doesn't really. Uh-oh, it's your boy. Oh, wow. This is, uh... That's a thing. Interesting. Did I die? Maybe. Well... Unfortunately, Soren, we just go block, block, and then Soren takes three... I feel like Judith is better here, but then there's yeah, we're just gonna play Devil next turn. Yeah, this is fine. I do note cards because I very much know your stream and hate note cards and hope they cancel out. I hope they do too.
Wouldn't you like to get away? I sing the cheers song while I stream, so that's kind of similar. Right? Do they have Raska's Contempt, my Judith? That's the rudest shit you could do. Well, I'm not blocking. Because I'm no sucker. Hmm. Well. Get in there. Get him, get him. Get him, get him. You know, the old get him, get him. That's a classic. Powers two, that's last known info. So I should be able to take out. Uh, this is one, shoot your face. That's two, shoot your boy. Seems good. And then we're gonna play Soren next turn. And gain a lot of life. Oh, we can also get the Dreadhorde Butchie Boy back. Dreadhorde Butchie Boy. That seems good. And they might actually have to block. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Butchie boys, butchie boys. So I assume they're blocking here and here. They take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They go to 3 and everything dies. That seems okay. You got him. Damage is done. I'm back at 25. I'm at a healthy 20. <laughs> it's a weird flex because it's like, I just kill you on board. Okay. Well, they have. Uh, oh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, maybe they're like trying to get their their points in. Um, I don't know what to board in against them. All we saw was Merfolk Branch Walkers, one Hydroid Crassus, and one Doom Whisperer. So, oh, we're playing against Bird Person. He <laughs> wanted to hear the demon scream, if you know what I mean. You guys like hearing the demon scream? Yeah, all right. 
I'll keep that on top. And we'll hope we'll draw one more black source so we can go turn two, nothing, turn three. Biscuits. Alright, black source off the top one time so we can... I want to I wanna hear the demon scream, if you know what I mean. Madonna's climb is obnoxious. I don't know if it's fast enough, though. It's pretty good. It's actually terrible because we don't have uh, double black. I don't actually like this planes in here. I think this planes can actually get out. We actually can't play anything or attack anything, so that's pretty rough. I guess we can try this. Oh, that's fine. Dragon Skull Summit, I never thought I'd see the day. So they can make this an 8 8, which is fine. Trample, huh? No blocks. Well, that would be nice. I wish we had another land. Ugh. Now we can do one thing. Yeah. 
yeah, Angrath stealing Karasa seems pretty good. I was actually hoping to do this, because if you draw another Angrath, it's very, very good. Or if you draw another land, rather. Six, seven, plus six is 13. That's a lot of 6-6 six, six flyers. Is that good enough? I don't know. Why do they both have trample? Ugh. I don't know if this is good enough. Six. Seven, eight. Just fuel for the fires of freedom. <laughs> it's good enough. I've already guaranteed the win. Wow. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Thank you. Icarus, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Your crew for my freedom. I don't want to attack with these because we do want to double block here. This guy's going to die, so we are going to get the Cruel Celebrant trigger. And if they want to trade, well, that's fine. So they're going to go to six. I think we're still dead to them double pumping this guy though, right? No, because we're going to block two. They're going to go to 12, and we're going to go to block two of it, so we take 10. I mean, it's a long shot here. What up, TBB? We will not sure. fail. That's fine. They tapped all their blue sources, so Kadama's climb is not an option now. That is interesting. And cruel celebrant figure triggers if they kill the Angrath. The land shall conquer you. Oh, they can untap their blue source with that guy, I guess. Which is still fine. We've already Figured out the the Doom Whisper uh, imperative, as uh, as we're calling it. What part about guarantee? Don't you understand? It's over. Okay, that's fair. God, I was sorry. I was being real. I was being a real stickler about it. They don't have trample, right? Vigilance and haste. Sure. Do 
These will be my blocks. So now you're at three. Now you're at one. And now we attack with both of these guys. No fire, no steel. Enters tapped. I also like Angrath with Spawn of Mayhem. If you activate Angrath, you just gotta play these guys for cheap. Uh, there were three Mike B fan picks. The third was in a commander video. They're in the titles of all the uh, of all the videos. This is weird that you haven't conceded yet. Is there a trick? Is there some kind of trick that I'm missing? No. Okay. Got him. All right, that did that that match went well. We didn't even get to play one of our guys, one of our spawnsies. Yeah, this plane is not. It's no bueno. We want another black source. We got four, eight, twelve, sixteen, seventeen. We should have plenty. We can add one. Uh, what's the red cliff top? Yeah, that seems fine. BRB fanfic time. Lost Mania, have a good night, buddy. Enjoy enjoy work. Or don't. I'm not your dad. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. This swamp, this swamp is the glue that holds this hand together. I guess Judith. That's my guess. Yeah, Seraph is actually a stronger card. Oh, why didn't we play this? Oh my god, I'm so tilted by these two thought erasures. Yeah, we should just play the Judith. Because I, I was I, in my head, I'm like, oh, they're going to take the Judith. They're going to take the Judith. And then I forgot they didn't take the Judith. And I played as if they took the Judith. That's just me being off balance. That's just hard. Joke's on you, they took a point anyway.
Wow, three, three thought erasures, huh? It's pretty good. City or against a Liliana on seven <laughs> when I have no cards. Seems good. Four of these guys. Get rid of the Sorens. I got one spawn, one heroic, I think. Hoping for a two drop here. So then we can uh, get this spawn of mayhem down turn three. We only have 16 two drops. Seems like it's probably gonna be difficult. Looks like it's impossible. Unless they crack a fetch land during our upkeep, that'd be great. I have my doubts. I'm not going to be playing anything here, so we're just going to put this down. Is there, are there any sacrifice outlets that cost zero in the format right now? Because if there are, it's not bad with Seraph and uh, we'll Celebrate and things like that. I was not prepared for this. Uh, the problem with pri priests is that it's not repeating, right? Like, you do it once, and then that's it. You only get one activation a turn. I mean, like, a, a something with a sacrifice a creature activated ability that doesn't cost mana. I mean, we're playing this guy because if they have Raska's Contempt and they want to use it, which they do, then I'd rather them not use it on this. I like when you have so many abilities so that it has to scroll. Yep, pretty good too. Hmm. Still holding Brask is condemned. How about an anger? Nope, that's not gonna do it. Wow, this is unbelievable. Jesus Christ. How many thought erasures? How like this is what is this? Four thought erasures? Five thought erasures in two games? Nope, there's three here, so more than that. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa, some arena today. Well, they're for sure gonna Vratska's contempt this dude. See you later. Costly plunder. This is hard. They're at twenty. God, it's so brutal, man. My, my biggest problem with the deck right now is that we don't have any ways to recover, right? Like, if you're down to this, like, you have no cards that are, like, just windmill slams put you back in the game. I still don't like Cruel Celebrant. I don't think it's the right direction for the deck. It's a 1-2. Like, it's so unimpressive on its own. And it's so easy to ignore. And we don't have that many creatures. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. Yeah, like, this has been, this has been rough. But one thing to uh, to appreciate is that we have not uh, playing decks on arena does not cost anything. So what if we actually went a little bit higher up the curve? What if we put like. Took out these guys. What if we did put Liliana in? Demon of Catastrophes? Isn't that guy just worse than... Like, because we don't want to sack a creature. We don't want to sack... We don't want to sack one thing. We're not like, hey, I'm going to play this big spell and sack one thing to it. I'm talking about, like, a repeatable effect like Viscera Seer. So that I can sack my whole board and kill them in one shot. That's what we're talking about. Like, this is just like, hey, we're going to sack a token. And you're going to take one damage from my Cruel Celebrant, right? Like, this is not... At that point, I'd rather... Okay, that's all. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out if that does, does or does not exist. Because, I mean, I'd rather just play, like... I'd rather just pay one more mana and play Doom Whisper, you know? Um, is there, like, a big Mardu deck that we can play? What's... Instead of, like... There's got to be some... What, what's good card advantage in, the, in like, the Mardu colors? You got... Red white cards, white black cards, and black red cards. <sighs> Three mana. Ugin. I actually I actually love Ugin. But we have Liliana, so I'm kind of Actually I Mentor of the Meek's not bad. It's kind of mana intensive. Ooh, what about Gideon? What if we put like a bunch of Gideons in the deck? These are sweet, although I don't know why I have two different two different versions of it. <laughs> I feel like that's one thing Arena could do without. Like, they could actually just consolidate these. Like, I don't need M19 versions and Ixalan versions of this card. Light up the stage is fantastic, and I don't know why it's not in here. So what did we add? We added two Lilianas and a land. So we're up to 24 lands now, which I think is good. Is there any way to, like, discard? Like, is there any good loot effects? And I don't want to talk about Argyle's Blood Class. I don't want to pay two mana to draw cards. I'm just talking about, like, let's refill our hand real quick. What about Ruin Raider? If you attack a creature, reveal the top card of your library and put it in your hand. What about Ruin Raider? Ruin Raider seems actually pretty good.
Hmm. Dark bargain. Huh. I like Ruin Raider. Is that weird? Take out. Is it raining again? Oh my god, I can't even handle it. Not yet, but it might. I, I drove all the way to Tampa and it was like 95 degrees. Uh, I don't think we're cutting anything for stage. We're trying to ruin Raider. Um. Is Midnight Reaper better than Ruin Raider? That's interesting. Probably, right? It's non-token, though. That's the thing I don't like about Midnight Reaper. It's non-token, and we are making guys with Hero Precinct 1. But still... Whereas it's possible Ruin Raider just draws us a card every turn. Let's keep the Ruin Raider in for now and we'll see if that we'll see if that makes a difference. We'll also cut one Clifftop Retreat and we'll add the Cruel Celebrant. Two six drops with only 23 lands. I don't love that. One six drop, and now we'll add the, the Cliff Top Retreat back. Okay. Let's see if this makes a difference. Play first. Keep setting. So we basically cut the four spawns for one Liliana and three Ruin Raiders. And we cut one celebrant for one land. All right, that's pretty good. Dang, no free sacrifice out in standard, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. This is not what we wanted to do. I guess if you're going to... Oh, that's so bad. I didn't want to attack with this. I autopiloted to attack with everything, and now I, feel, now I feel bad. Oh, man. Magic Online. Or Magic or MTG Arena. You're so crafty. Can you bounce this guy? Can you bounce anything here? Let's try this. But he goes to one. So now I just kill him? God, we have two more tokens right now. This is hardly my worst defeat. It's a weird use of Teferi. I mean, I guess you draw a card, but it doesn't seem that great. Uh, 
decline. Celebrant and Firebrand seems good. Oh my god, can you imagine how good... I can't even handle how good uh, Hero would have been here. Three extra tokens with a Judith and a Heroic Reinforcements. Wow. Like, we're just handicapping ourselves. We're just playing in hard mode. These Tefries are not ideal. Here we go. All attack. I don't want to go all attack at your face. What the f what? What? Oh, I've done the hero thing before. All I wanted to do was have the arrows come back so I could manually assign my attacks. That's all I wanted to do. So defeated right now. The land will not forsake you. If we can hit one land, we can play both of these in one turn, which is great. Exciting. That's a land. All right. Say it's your life. Judith. Fire McBrandio. Everybody in. There's a lot of moments in this deck where you can just turn them sideways. You just, like, put them in the red zone. Let them do their... Let them do their jobs. Dragosi, what's going on, buddy? Well done, well done. Your turn, I will not sack. And Grath. Yeah. 
Can I have this land? Your crew for my fishing. <laughs> A fair price. So we attack with all and she died. I guess we can go face, you block here, you take three, four, five. How are we winning this game? So alternately, you block here, you take seven, eight. And then Seraph kills you next turn. Or the turn after, I guess. I don't think we care about Nissa, to be honest with you. They're losing two mana sources here. Unless they want to go to one. Which is an option. That's interesting. I mean, they can, they're going to kill Angrath here, and then they take another point? Or no? No, it's just creature. This one's creature. Cruel Celebrant also triggers off of Planeswalkers. And then we're at a point where, like, if they kill our two creatures, then they just die, so... Never mind. My bad. Back to the Devil's Chains and the Stormwreck Sea I go. So we play this. They can block two of them. These are going to be... They're, all my guys are three, so they take three. Yeah, this is just game. So take, taking three from one of these, and then the two that died deal two more. Man, remember that? Remember that attack that we missed? Wow. Uh, token's still there. No, it is non-token. Oh, no. Why don't these cards trigger on tokens, man? something oh my god I was like oh you're just clearly dead but then oh no wait remember the time they didn't trigger on tokens and they played Kali when they were at one so that I can't get through with this uh, bedevil one time bedevil or angrath come on. come on cruel celebrant that'll do actually That will do. Cruel Celebrant, I've been shitting on you this whole time. And you came through. That's hilarious. Uh, yep. I guess I'll choose you. Wow, that was exciting. That was game one? My god. Uh, I don't know if Bell Haunt is good enough. I don't. I like Bell Haunt. Um, I just I worry about the mana cost of white, white, black, black. 
bad top deck, I believe you said. Hey, buddy, listen, I still think that holds true. However, no, stop that. Hmm. Also, I love the thing about all about Ruin Raider is that it triggers even if you don't connect. Like you just have to attack. What did we see? We saw like a bunch of rampy boys. I do, I do want Elder Spell because they're playing. Um. Yeah, I'll just add one of these. I, I don't know. I don't think the Sorens are great here. And I like all our other cards. I don't know if I like this hand, but I don't know if I hate this hand. We have two plays, and if we hit a white source... Add Bellhaunt to the deck, get rid of the red, add blue, a couple sweepers, and maybe some card draw. Wow. I think you just, uh, I think you just totally tweaked the deck. I think you figured out what the problem is. We'll keep it. We're hoping for Isolated Chapel or Godless Shrine, or Sacred Foundry, or Clifftop Retreat. Good game. Good game. Both sides played hard. All right, let's do one more. I like to keep these videos under the two hour mark. When we're, we're approaching it, so. I actually like the, I like the Ruin Raider, even though we haven't cast him yet. Um, man, Cruel Celebrant, really good. Really surprisingly good, man. Oh, this is old Bob 180. Pretty sure that's a skate move. Did you guys ever, uh, did you guys ever master a Bob 180 when you were a kid? Oh god, this sounds rough because we only have two lands and nothing comes into play untapped. This I will keep. We have three plays in two lands, so. Nope. Ash, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. We'll play this because it means any land we draw can cast hero. Swamp. Sacred Foundry, Soren. Yep. F fashion lead to the party, I see. Well, I'm gonna go get a lightning bolt this character. You got it. Well, if we hit a land here, then we can play two things. But unfortunately, we hit Hero of Pre-Saint 1. But if we hit a hero, if we hit a land, we wouldn't have had the Hero of Pre-Saint 1 to even play two things. So. God, I can't wait for M2020 to get a land here. This deck and the, and the Nexus of Fate deck are just not, they're just not fun to play against. Like, every other deck I'm actually, I'm just fine with. It's not a big deal. Like, it's fun, it's, it's fine to play interactive back and forth games of Magic. But, like, this red deck is just not fun to play against. Get rid of you. Soren seems like MVP here. But Devil seems kind of mad. We're going to bring in Cravings.
sure. That I can do without. Yeah, but Nexus can eat poo burgers. I agree with you. It's just not fun. Nexus and 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 mono red, just because they're not interactive. Like against the mono red deck, you get four turns to either disrupt their strategy or you die, right? And with Nexus, you get four turns to win the game or they go off on you and you just don't get any other turns. And they're just not interactive, fun games. I think red decks should exist in metagames, but I don't think they should be this consistent or powerful. Uh, I will decline. Look at me, I am the red deck now. Did somebody mention red? Someone did mention red. And ironically, I'm also playing red, so it's like, everybody wins. Are you gonna make a little devil? Oh, look at my little friend devil. Is here to help your pain. Yeah, I think red can be tier 1.5. Like, I think it's fine. I think it's fine to have a deck that's, like, aggressive and is consistent, but, like, it's just too consistent. I adore an audience. Oh, we can gain life again. I wish I had a more efficient way to deal with this. So we can only play one thing this turn? Ooh. Ooh. No, well, this guy's a... It's a hard fella. <sighs> it doesn't do anything, though. Like, they just... They just block it, and then... Soren dies on the crackback, and, like, it doesn't really do much. Yeah, they could just block with that too, I guess. That's also pretty good. I mean, Soren's pretty high though, so I'm not too concerned with it. Also, if we can just draw Heroic Reinforcements, we can put Fireblade at it into play, Heroic Reinforcements. Gain a lot of life. Right, the next time we can Kaya post combat, but there's no way they're gonna not attack with this, so they're never blocking with this on the turn after that. Seems good. Two shocks every game. Seems good. Seems good. Boy. 
would be cool if we had another land. I can get rid of Ben Big Card, thank you so much for saying so, buddy. I didn't even notice. I did not notice your name. Also, thanks for being a long time sub, buddy. I really appreciate it. You are great. Watch your back from here on out. Hmm. Means haste. Thinking we deal them four. No fire, no steel. It's just gonna be bad for you. That's actually pretty good for us. Yep. Ah, you'll be nothing but slag when I'm dead. Wow, three shocks. Ram a new course free. I want to play this because if we draw like Liliana, I don't want to like have to take two for no reason. So, Let's light it up. lava coil, fantastic. No trigger. So. They play this first and then this. Got him. What are they gonna do now? Nothing. Sure. In a in a true we we still had all these moment with the red deck. Never fails. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Like so, the problem the main problem with the deck that I see is that you're just not doing things as effectively as other decks. And I mentioned this the other day with the blue-red counterburn deck, but like you're not dealing enough damage. You're not dealing as much damage as you should be. Like the red deck is just a more aggressive, linear, consistent deck than this than the Mardu version. And like if you're looking for a multicolor hero pre Saint one deck, like the um, the Esper deck and the Bant deck have better packages for them. Like you have more resiliency with Planeswalkers, because it's really I feel like this this format is really aggressive towards two toughness creatures. Um, because Nissa is making three threes because, you know, wild growth walkers exist and the wild growth walker package exists. There's just a lot of reason that's, that reasons that two, two attackers and dealing like one point at a time isn't where you want to be right now, currently in standard. Um, and the sad thing is like, that doesn't change the fact that I like all these cards. I love heroic reinforcements. I love Liliana. I love Angrath. Um, I think Dreadhorde Butcher is super sweet. I think Hero of Precinct 1 is one of my favorite cards in the format. And, like, the cards themselves are great. But you're not getting... Yeah, the value is really missing. Like, you have a card... You'd like, the like the Esper deck, it draws a ton... Of, it has ways to draw cards with Teferis. Like, it, it, has a, it has a lot of ways to come back in the game. And it has answers for everything, like Detention... Uh, Deputy of Detention, Teferi, Other Teferi, Thief of Sanity. Like, it has a lot of, lot of efficient creatures. Whereas we're just, like, hoping they kill one of our creatures while we have two other different creatures on the board. So it's really hard to, like... It's hard to, to to for your for your strategy to be really cohesive and come together the way you really really want it to, um, unfortunately, and I'm not sure if because uh, like the, the unlike the red deck like what the red deck is doing like it's telling you hey I'll wizards lightning you and uh, skewer the critics you right in one turn so they've dealt a six and like we have to have six creatures die in order to uh, to have that happen you know 
so it's a lot harder like it's like we're it's like we're giving it's like we're playing the the red deck but on hard mode but the alternative is that you get you get cooler cards like for sure you get cooler cards in the deck so i don't know i i'm not sure where else to go with the with this version of the deck just because i don't know if the tools are there uh in the in the like at the mardu slash rakdos burn you know burn deck so to speak uh, or like you know token deck especially because like judith doesn't trigger on tokens you know um there was the other card that we were going to put in that doesn't trigger on tokens as well oh uh midnight reaper right so like you have all these cards but you're making tokens with hero precinct one and heroic reinforcements and seraph and you're know, like but i don't it doesn't trigger on these so it's kind of like a there's kind of like this this inner tension in the deck so either way super Ritz, i'm sorry it took so long to get to this deck but um I do appreciate you you helping me out and letting me uh, letting me play it. Really appreciate the support. If you guys uh, are interested in having me take a look at your own decks and give you my feedback, definitely check out my Twitch profile or my Patreon page. You can find links for those in the description below. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. you guys are great. I'll see you guys next time.